guys, so welcome back. Oh, I'm out of breath <laughs> to my channel. I'm doing another um, costume, showing costumes because you guys asked for some more and I think it's so cute. And I'm wearing Kenzie's tour t-shirt. I love having their stuff on, so it's enjoyable for me. So I have some questions and some more costume reveals. I think it's so cute, like I don't know what some of these costumes are called, and I really appreciate you guys telling me what they are. Um, and I'm gonna answer some fun questions. Um, so this is Sarah-LI7BB. Hi, Melissa, the wedding costume was head over heels in season two. Once a bridesmaid was season five. Yes, see, I don't even remember that. And my question is, what was your favorite trio Maddie, Paige, and Chloe did? So that, first of all, I'm going to show you that costume. First was the bridesmaid. And these costumes look huge, but they're not. Um, so I just wanted to show you this and thank you for correcting me with that. So let me put this over here. And my favorite costume was, and it's broke, Camille Colette Fifi. Look how cute, look how little they were. This is definitely my favorite. I can't believe this broke, but it ripped. Um, I think probably because they were probably trying it on when they were too big for the costume. So that was that question. Um, I, I love that. This question is L Viola XX. What dance style do you wish the girls did on the show more? And is there a costume you really wish you should, wish you still had? Oh, yes. And all my best to you and your family. Um, I wish that the girls did like more of musical theater and more of a jazz because they were so good at it. Um, I guess they did jazz, but I love musical theater and I love tap and people don't realize how good all the girls were at tap. I mean, they really were. We had an amazing, amazing tap teacher and I wish the costume I had, which I thought I had, but I don't, was party, party, party. Production took them. Um, so that's a bummer. And Abby sold them at her auction. Yes. Oh, but look what I found. I was always very organized. This was all the girls' earrings. They had to change earrings for every single dance. Um, and these were just like crystals. Uh, these were the ABs. And then they had blue ones and red ones and purple ones and pink ones but their ears would be so literally, look at all these, literally infected that we would have to put Neosporin on the earring and then put it in their ear because it was so bad. And then here are all the headpieces, like not headpieces, but these were just, you know, to put in their hair, like for their French twists. Um, I liked these because they had these clips, but we still would put them in and you still had to bobby pin these suckers on. But look at these. I have so many. And I did give some to um, some other kids just because I had so many, but I just can't part with these because I think it'll be something fun to be able to give the girls someday when they want it. Um, Jasmine. Jasmine JN 1058. Hi, Melissa. Is there a reason you don't and still don't watch the show? Um, did you really make the costumes yourself? And what was the reason behind that? Well, the reason I never watched, I watched episode one because we all watched it together. The editing was just bad and I, I really didn't want to see, I hated myself on TV. I looked terrible. My voice is awful and we lived it and it would just make me mad because, you know, the editing was just blah, yucky. Um, but that's why. And yes, we made costumes, but not all the time. Typically, it was, you know, for the first two seasons, but it wasn't every single costume, but it was a lot. 
And the reason being is because I think two reasons they didn't want to spend the money for the show, you know, they meaning Abby, because the show would give Abby money for costumes and she would just throw stuff together. And then we would actually have to throw it together on a Friday night. Um, secondly, I think that, you know, Gianna didn't have like the dance, most of the dances and the dance numbers, the song or the genre till Wednesday or Tuesday. So most of the time Wednesday. So it was hard to get costumes by Friday. So I think that was the case too. Um, but then once the mom said we weren't going to do it anymore, they had to come up with costumes. So I need someone to tell me what costume this is. I cannot find it anywhere. Oh, wait, maybe I have found this one. Wait, let me see. No, no, this is Kenzie's Boom Boom costume. I did find it. Look how cute. Little, tiny, teeny, tiny. But as you can see, this is booty shorts and just a little bra top with stones and a little lace. I mean, this is a simple costume, but she only wore it once, so it is what it is. Okay, another question. Dana J, 469. My question is, do the moms have to pay for all the costumes for each competition? And if so, were they expensive? Well, we had to pay for them prior to the show. And then during the show too, but not the show costumes because our girls actually competed with the other girls um, for a long time. So we did have other costumes and we did have to pay for them. Um, but like, for instance, this costume, I mean, this costume would have been really expensive. I'm going to show you um, because this is actually custom made. This isn't just a bra. This is a custom made bra. This one is Maddie's. As you can see, I mean, it's beautiful. And these are, oh yeah, this is literally all custom made. I mean, look at this. I would say this costume probably would have been, I'm guessing maybe $350. We didn't have to pay for it, but look at this headpiece. I mean, look at this. How beautiful, this one's broken, but look at that. And it's, it, I mean, it's just beautiful. So costumes are very, very expensive. Um, but thank goodness we didn't have to pay for, I mean, the girls did, oh my gosh, I have hundreds of costumes, hundreds and hundreds. Um, and I'm so lucky that, you know, I have so many. But this, this costume was really quite beautiful. This dance was beautiful. I remember like Kalani really stuck up or stuck out in this costume. Um, I just remember her in this dance. I don't remember a lot of stuff. It's really funny, but I remember how beautiful she looked in that dance. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. Um, let's see. Um, this is Casey 88. Uh, you might have already mentioned this before, but what um, are, what look like magazines on the shelves? Are they program books? So all this, and it's really messy. Um, they are program books, but they're magazines too. So whenever the girls were in a magazine, on the cover of a magazine, I always bought like 10 of them. I know, crazy. Like, look at, this is very old. This is from, oh, this is October, 2015. This was um, Maddie's, she had two covers, two different years. This is 17 Magazine. 2016, um, this one, Dance Spirit, that's Maddie McKenzie. This is Magnificent, look how cute Kenzie is, she's itty bitty. Um, another Dance Spirit, I mean, these are all magazines. And then this, this is pretty cool. These are, I kept score every week. So if you could see here, I, for every competition, that we went to even before the show. Um, I would write everybody's score. High gold, high gold. Oh, oh, this is funny. This was supposed to be Kendall and they switched it to Jojo. Um, I always doodled. Look at my doodles. They were hearts and stars, but I had to do it for every single competition because I was the secretary at our dance studio. So like I have, they're all handwritten. So 
I think this is, I'm just so happy that I kept all this because it's just such a good memory to have. I don't know, makes me really happy. Um, let's see, Jordan Blogs 6348. My question is, what are Maddie and Kenzie's future goals? I wasn't sure if they plan or are in college or in the workforce. I love you and your girls so much. I would love to meet you all. Well, the girls are not in college. Um, I'm not sure if they'll ever go to college. It's a possibility. Um, but they already are in the workforce because they work all the time. Um, you know, Maddie is really focusing on her acting. Um, she loves, loves acting so much. Mackenzie just did a movie not too long ago before the strike. Um, and they're filming something hopefully soon because the strike is over, yay. Um, Mackenzie is really focusing on her music and acting and they're doing lots of stuff and they're very busy. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I wanna say, I wanna show you what I have. This is really cool. And just showing you that I keep everything. So here is one of Maddie's wigs that Sia gave her, um, a bow. Um, this was her first leotard she wore. Um, this is on chandelier. And it says, Dear Maddie, you're the very best, Sia. Love Sia. And then I even have her Grammy ticket and her little lanyard, or this was, I think this was probably my lanyard because she was a minor, so I had to go back with her. So, and another one of her leotards, this is another one. But I keep everything. And this, um, you know, I keep in a plastic bag, but memories are so great. These are photos. So we used to do photo shoots at the dance studio. It was, oh my gosh, sometimes till midnight. The girls, it was just crazy. But this is all of our, oh, oh my gosh. I was looking for this. Oh wait, I have this costume. Ah, oh my gosh. Look at Kenzie's jump. Wow, I don't know if you can see. But, um, but these are all dance photos and I would buy every single photo because these are proofs. Um, and I have, these memories will be forever. And one day I will scan these. Maybe I can go somewhere and scan them so it's easier, but I have literally bags and bags and bags and bags of dance photos. So I think that'll be a really fun memory someday for the girls as well. So that's gonna be a project for me. Maybe I can find someone to help me do that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really excited to do this. It's taking me down memory lane and then I go and watch the dances because I'm like I remember this costume but I don't remember the dance and it's funny because some of the dances didn't end up on TV which I never knew that like some of Kenzie's solos didn't show up on TV some of Paige's solos didn't come on TV I, I don't know why I think it's kind of crazy why do all the work and all that I have no idea but there you go Make sure that you send me more questions and let me know what you want me to talk about. I love you guys. Mwah.